Google Docs and other G Suite for Education files can be created in three different ways. You can use the App Launcher to go to the application or docs.google.com. Here, you'll find templates. By clicking on a template, you create a copy that you can then work off of. You can also start from your Google Drive. Click on New, Google Docs. Choose whether to create a blank document or start from a template. Lastly, you can use a shortcut in your URL bar. Docs.new will create a new blank document. When entering text on a Google Doc, you can determine what sort of text it is. By using different levels of text, you can actually create an outline of sorts on the left-hand side of the page. Select text and use the toolbar across the top to make changes to the font, the size, and other formatting options like bold, italics, underlined, the font color, and even a highlight. You can also select text and make it a link to something else on the web. Paragraph formatting options are also available, like alignment, line spacing, and more. Using the top menu bar, you can also create numbered lists and bulleted lists. By going to File and then Page Setup, you can adjust your orientation from portrait to landscape, make changes to your margins, change the paper size, and even change the background color of a Google Doc. Use the Insert menu to add a table. Tables allow you to organize your thinking and organize your information to make the layout easy for students or other adults to follow. Using voice typing is incredibly helpful for students who are struggling writers. Simply launch voice typing, click, and allow access to your microphone. Then, as students speak, their writing will actually go on the page, period. New line. This is one way that students can easily get their thoughts out on paper, period. By clicking on File and Version History, you're able to go into the history of the document, see what each person has contributed. This allows teachers to see what has been done by each student when collaborative work is happening. You can restore an older version of a document or simply exit the version history. If a document is owned by someone else and you need your own copy of it, simply click on File, Make a Copy, and a copy will be made and placed in your Google Drive. If you need to download a file, go to File, Download, and choose the file type. 